okay so my screen is visible right yes okay so so like uh, quiz to will be so from week week uh, one to eight right so most of the question will be like week five to eight like uh, concept of week one to four is required, right and uh, from week five so from week five uh, that came if all the things so i'll suggest like uh, solve p a and g a like without showing uh, without showing like seeing the solution that will be sufficient and for week six week six i think it's like uh, only tutorial is there right yes and so week seven and eight week seven and eight so i'll like i'll suggest like uh, solve all the timing diagram question on question will be there timing diagram question then uh, another thing is like jk flip-flop truth table and excitation table jk flip-flop truth table and excitation table truth table and excitation table is for master slave yeah so and for the deep flip-flop so this will be like a, uh, like sufficient for the quiz too and the please divide the that the marks concept mark concept and all the things so maybe like one question will be there and uh, pattern will be like there will be 15 question so that's like another color so there will be 15 question Five question only with true false question. So it's like a simple question. Like if you know, then you can answer it. And ten question will be ten question will be like MCQ, MSQ, and then NAT question. And most of the question will be like uh, this. Like you can expect three to four question from week five. Week five three to four question this sub three to four question or maybe five question and at the other than will will be with seven and eight and most of the question will be designing time of question so we'll focus on the designing concept so it's clear for everyone like pattern and all the things yes sir okay and uh, like most important thing like whatever like from week five to eight solve all p a and g and if possible uh, please solve p y q like previous year question that will be sufficient for like a scoring i'll say it's like 100 marks because all the concept will be like kind of that okay so let's see one question Consider the function given below f a b c d 0 2 4 5 6 7 8 and 10 12 13 14 15 if you want to implement the minimize expression using only two input NAND gates what is the minimum numbers of NAND gates required right? given inputs a b c d along with their complement so i think this is a ga question with five so this type of question may come so we ask like uh, there is a function given below 0 2 4 5 6 7 8 10 12 13 14 15 and we ask like if you want to implement the minimize expression using only two input NAND gates what is the minimum numbers of NAND gates required so we have to ask what is what, what is the minimum numbers of NAND gates required and inputs are given a b c d and their complement so and complement is a bar b bar Dr and Dr, right? So let's find the expression first. So let's draw game first. Right. Yeah. 
in such questions we have yeah. given uh, ones only correct suppose that uh, the, the diagram has only zeros so basis zeros also we can use k map or we we need to convert it to first ones and then solve it yeah in that way if you as an this is a sop right yeah this is a sop yeah. so only yeah. zeros are there and then we need to do pos correct yeah pos and you can convert also like uh, can, can you take one example of such thing later yes sir so let's see like will this uh, for this example we'll solve using the pos also okay zero zero one 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 zero right so let's use another color so zero is given okay so this is zero then zero then two let's write the zero zero one three two four five seven six eight nine eleven ten twelve thirteen fifteen forty let's write the Zero is given, then two, zero two, then four, zero to four, then five, then five, six, seven, eight, then eight, then ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You can see that like uh, SOP, right? Now you can also like see that uh, solve using POS also, right? So this will be the zero this will be zero this will be zero. all the blanks will be zero yes so you can solve using uh, pos also so if you take the pos you can take one like uh, one group will be formed right if you roll the paper so one group will be from sorry what happened how to sorry New. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. So so if you take POS, we can if you roll the paper, so you can form one group, right? Yes. So what will be the POS? Yes. B star is not changing, so that will be there, and D is not changing, so that will be there. But okay. we'll take complement of that. So BD star it will be. Yeah, so it will be. You can see that uh, this is AB, right? This is AB, and this is CD. So you can see that B is not changing, right? B star is not changing, yes. B because zero is there, so it will be PS B will be there, right? Zero means so no, how we were saying like first we'll check like uh, in the terms of SOP, so B star is not changing, so B star will keep, and then because it is POS, so we'll make a complement of that. Yeah. So B star's uh, complement, I mean, yeah, B so complement in, complement. In case of POS, zero means like you are taking like whatever the A, and one means A star, kind of that. Like if there's some variable, it's A Benefit. variable. So you can see that B, B is not changing, zero means B. Correct. Plus and d star and you can see that d is not changing so d star so final expression is b d star b plus d star right b after plus that b plus d star why b plus d star will be here because it because is i think pos right so that's plus not multiply correct yeah. now uh suppose you have to nan get right so nan get so suppose a and B is there. If suppose Y, so what will be the output? A. A B bar. A B bar. So equal to A bar plus B bar. Correct. Correct. Now, if we suppose there is one NAND gate. We need B bar and D input. Yeah. So if we input D, 
and if we input b bar so it is here so it will be and this is suppose y so it will be y equal to b bar dot d complement so it will be b bar bar plus d complement b plus d complement okay. so here like in the questions d bar is given right all the complement is given so d bar is given and sorry b bar is given and d so it will require only one line everyone got it how to solve this question this type of question yes sir any doubt in this question i still sir hello uh, okay can you show the uh, sop form also for this if you like solve sop then uh, you can like uh, you can do like kind of that so there will be forming one group this group eight right yes and you can uh, another group this eight correct correct then you can uh, minimize that and you can solve sure sure okay i see okay, okay let's go to the next question okay so now week seven so basically week five like uh, we can expect like a kind of a k map so if you are able to solve k map question then you can solve like all the k map problem like kind of will be asking about that minimize what will be the minimize form kind of that so k map is the important for week five right okay now in the given circuit so it may be not be true um, it not be to right so so in the circuit uh, shown below uh, d1 and d2 are positive trigger d flip flop x1 x2 inputs of d1 and d flip flop choose the correct timing diagram of the output y so we have to choose the correct timing diagram of output y right so what will be the output y So anyone which one one will be the correct it just takes a little more time to me yeah it takes a little more time okay okay so let's solve now x1 clock is given x1 and x2 okay let's see this so everyone know what is the uh, that uh, deep flip flop uh, uh, like in that uh, truth table, right? No, you said you will help memorize the same. Yes. Okay. So let's. Okay. So D. Let's draw that. D. Then clock. Sorry. clock and then q next if d zero and clock is changing from zero to one then it will be zero q next will be zero if d is one and clock is changing from zero to one then q next will be one and clock is zero or clock is one it will be D, like does not depend on the d it will be last q so i means is it level triggered or edge trigger this is edge trigger so we'll be like uh, asking about the edge trigger if d is flip flop so it is like edge trigger so if you see if it is zero d is zero and it is changing from zero to one if it's changing from zero to one then it will be changed to zero and it will be one and if it is changing from zero to one then it will be one otherwise 
if it is clock is zero or clock is one, it does not depend. It's, it will be the last queue. Okay, uh, like uh, did you understand? Or... So basically, we can divide like clock is high. I mean, triggering high. Yeah, right. you're going to zero to one. Yeah, when it is it positive, it is triggering positive. Then D value is copied in the queue next. Yeah, correct. D value will be the queue. What about the time? Yeah, correct. And if is clock is not positively triggering. Yeah. then only keep uh, queue previous will be copied into queue next yes okay okay now let's solve now clock is given now let's see x1 is given and x2 is given so what will be the okay so you can see that uh, clock uh, this is this is zero so initially up to that is correct or not same clock value is going in both d1 and d2 yeah same clock value going to d1 and d2 so like in this course like whatever the flip flop will be there same clock will be going this is called i think synchronous counter or kind of thing. so same clock will be going so this is x1 this is x1 is high or low this is low right clock is high x1 is low x2 is low yeah so initially like it will be low right okay. after that is got uh, this is all the things are like low so it will be after the, that is correct now i mean q1 and q2 we need to find first no yeah, yeah. so no. when clock is high x1 is low so it will be zero yeah q1 will be zero and similarly q2 will be zero yeah zero and zero will give and phi equal to zero yeah you know so up to that is correct yes then now clock is zero the then clock, it will remain zero yeah clock is zero it's even zero so both q1 and q2 will be zero only zero only right so up to that is correct this timing diagram mm. now let's this x1 is high x2 is also high but uh, clock is zero it will be last q right yes so q1 will be zero and q2 will be zero right so this diagram goes off here so it will be kind of zero so it, this is wrong So uh, everyone understand why this diagram wrong? Any doubt? No, the problem is in option A you kept X1, X2 and in option 2 or further options oh, sorry, you are keeping X1 and X2 same throughout. Yeah, same throughout. Okay, that helps. Yeah, that helps. Now let's check the option three. So up to that is correct. Yes. Okay. Now up to even, that is correct. even third is correct. Okay, let's see. Up, up to four is correct. Four interval is correct. Okay. Let's see. Now let's see. And, uh, up to that is correct. Up to that is correct, right? Because now you can see that x one is also i, x two is also i, and it's good. 0 to 1 so q1 will be 1 and q2 will be 1 so y will be 1 correct so it will be 1 yeah but it, it will happen at uh, as a at a certain delay or instantly certain delay but uh, like certain millisecond delay that's why i'm not uh, okay in the, like in writing in like, certain millisecond delay only certain millisecond delay okay okay now up to that is correct up to that is correct ct is one yeah now let's put that let's go to yeah now let's go to uh that clock is zero 
clock is zero. X one is high and X two is also high. So here X one, X two, and clock all were one, and that is why it is behaving like uh, y is equal to one. Y is not uh, Q one and Q two are not Q previous here. Q one and Q two are actually one, and that is why y is one. Yeah, yeah. Now you can see that uh, that clock is zero, right? Zero. So what so about the last? Q previous. So yeah, till last. one will be copied for value of y. Till clock is zero. Yeah. Now we can see that uh, after that it will be copied, right? Yes. Now let's see that X one is low, right? Yes. X two is also low. So both will be zero. Both will be zero. And will be zero. Correct. Zero and Q will be zero. So both will be zero. So this will be end of that. Now after that, correct. Now Yeah, wait, wait, wait. No, wait, wait. Clock is high. Uh, X one is zero, so it is zero. X two is one, so it will be one. The so one and zero again, and will be zero. So it is okay. Now, X one is high. X two is uh, low. So again, it will be zero because inverted uh, thing. Okay, now let's up after that at this position. X two is also one, but the clock is not uh, going to zero to one. Like as here, it's going one. So whatever the previous copy, it will be copied. Copied. It will be copied. So And the option it is yeah. So it is correct. It is correct. It, it takes time. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Okay, now uh, this option is correct or wrong? So you can see that. Uh, So let's move. You can see that uh, yeah, it's wrong, right? Because option B is wrong. Option A, no, option C. I'm talking about option C. Option C. Uh, it's not. The Y value is yeah getting it's... high before it's set. Up After this is correct. After this is correct, but here it, you can see that clock is low only. So the previous is violated. Yeah, why? What will be? So it will be zero. Not so. This is wrong. So this type of question will come. Everyone got it? How to solve this question? Yes. Okay. Okay, now let's. This is a design-based question. So, we want to implement a circuit where the output changes from zero, like zero uh, zero to zero one, then zero one to one one, and one one to zero zero, like that. So this is MSP, and so we want to implement. So it will be changing from zero zero, then it is zero one. It will be changing from zero one to one one. Then it will be zero zero, right? Using JK flip flop as shown in the figure below. So, so basically, in the table, we need to tabulate Q one, Q two, like zero, 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 one, like that. Ah, huh. so this is the present state, right? So it be like I'm that that table won't be provided. I'm for live session. I'm this is the. And I'm saying how to tabulate, th make this table. I was asking. So this is Q one, Q two, and this is Q one next, Q two next, and whatever the J. Like, J one, K one, J two, K two, yes. And this is the next state. And this is the next step logic. What about the next step input? Right. So, changing from zero zero to zero one, zero one to one one, and one one to zero zero, right? After that is correct. After it is clear for everyone. Again zero zero will come. No, no zero zero won't come because already there zero zero is already there. So okay, now you can see that zero to changing from zero to zero. So what else should be the value of J and K? So if you see the 
that uh, uh, that uh, carrot 0 to 0 means gn should be 0 and kn should be don't care. yeah don't care so it will be 0 and don't care 0 and don't care you have to change 0 to 1 so 0 to 1 you can see that 0 to 1 it will be 1 and don't care so it will be 1 and don't care then 1 to 0 1 to 0 1 to 0 1 to 0 is don't care and 1 don't care and 1 right now for q2 0 to 1 so 0 to 1 0 to 1 1 and don't care 1 and don't care for 1 to 1 sorry yeah for 1 to 1 it will be 1 to 1 don't care 0 don't care 0 and for 1 to 0 for 1 to 0 don't care 1 don't care 1 so this is clear for everyone how if we do like 0 0 so q1 and q2 we are making like 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 yeah and then again q1 next we were like doing 0 1 1 1 0 0 okay so see first okay. uh, this is 0 0 right mm -hmm. now next step i mean only three rows has to be uh, yeah. made because uh, there are three state only three studies there right fourth one returning back to zero zero yeah because only there are three state one mm -hmm. two three okay so that's why okay now we have to find the j1 hey, right? uh, sir 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 one second uh so q1 q2 are the current states and q1 underscore n are the next states right correct so yes. after zero zero you have written zero one and for zero one it's one one for one one it's zero zero yes. and what about j j1 k1 can you uh, go through that again if that table if you we can copy the table right so here. uh you can see that okay let me write here this table so uh, this is present state mm -hmm. no no you are sharing you are writing somewhere else no 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 on the screen on the left yeah. okay okay Present state and the next state, right? Hmm. And what will be the input J and K and right. so if you are finding zero to zero, then hmm. J will be zero and don't care. If you want to go to zero to one, it will be one and don't care. Wait, wait, wait. Why why uh, how are we establishing that? Okay, so uh, then like, uh, I'll explain uh, that uh, JK jk flip flop truth table then after that you can understand oh that. okay uh, so what what was the name of that table uh jk flip flop truth table mm -hmm. this is the characteristic like yes for for we we'll only get zero zero for uh zero one and zero zero that's why it's zero don't care and yeah. the same thing right yeah huh. the like present state is zero then we are to find the next state what will be the value of j and k and so value mm -hmm. of it can be zero zero it can be zero one therefore zero oh. don't care yeah correct Yes, yes, yes. For one zero, it will be don't care one. Don't care one, yeah. One one, it will be don't care zero, right? Now let's see. Let's do the ledger. So Present you can see that zero. Zero, yeah. you want to Q next to zero, right? You want to zero zero, right? Hmm. First is uh, zero, then you want to next step will be zero zero, like zero. So hmm. you can see that zero and next is zero. Then what should, should be the value of J and and K n? So it will be zero and don't care. Zero and don't care. Okay. So now for zero so one, it is one. Is zero and one. Next set is one. So it would be you can see the present is zero and so one and don't care. One and don't care. One and don't care. And for this is present state is one and next set is next state is zero. So don't care one. One and zero don't care one. And for Q two. Zero and next it is one. So zero it's one good. one and don't care. One and don't care. For one one it is don't care zero. Don't care zero. And for one zero it is don't care one. Don't care one. Okay, okay, okay. The same thing for both the pairs. Okay. Yeah. Uh, got it? Yes. Okay. 
what will be the value of j1 now uh, find the sop for j1 j1 will be he, um for the uh, z zero one so q1 bar q1 n q1 bar q1 n yeah uh, no no it will be q1 bar you can see that only that is one right for j1 right you have to take sop so q1 bar q2 q1 bar q2 okay q1 q2 yeah q1 bar q2 yes and for j2 for j2 it will be q1 bar, bar q2. q2 bar and for uh, k1 k1 is q1 q1 where is k1 okay k1 q q1 so, q2. Uh, we have only asked that j1 and j2 so it will be hmm. i think yeah for both k1 and k2 it will be q1 q2 yeah yeah so i think you can see that for k1 is uh, Q1 and Q2, so you can see that that uh, Q1 and Q2 is given. This is Q2, and this is Q1, right? Mm. Q1 and Q2 is given. Okay, so this type of question you are like understand, like this type of design kind kind of question. Okay. Any doubt? This is clean. Okay. So let's go to the next question then. Okay. Consider the circuit as shown below, consi consisting the two deep flip top and one nor gap. Identify the correct sequence of the counter, state Q1 and Q2. Right. So, you have to find the like what is the current state of counter, right? Okay, so how to solve this type of question? So, first you have to write initial state, initial state, right? So, and you can see that D1 is set state and D2 is in a reset state. So, initial state you have to write then inputs, what about the inputs? And what will be the next state? Right. Initial state is inputs are in most significant and least significant bits. Yeah, so you can see that initial state is uh, Q1, Q2, and inputs may be D1 and D2. And for next state, Q1 next and Q2 next. Right. Why we are writing initial state as Q1, Q2, yeah. inputs so, D1, D2? Yeah, yeah. So initial state is like uh, both are in the set. State. D1 is set state, and D2 is in reset, uh, reset state, right? Yeah, one zero. One zero. Now we have to find the next state. What will be the next state? So what is the D1? D1 is given Q1. Uh, Q1 plus Q2. This is not right? Mm -hmm. right. Okay. So what will be the D1 and D2 is given Q1, right? So 1, 0. So what will be the D1 here? 1 and 0 nor will be? D2 is given as Q1. Yeah, D2 is given as Q1. You can see that D2 is given as Q1. You can see, right? My point uh, pointer is visible. Is so you can see that d2 is given as q1 so you can see that d2 is given ah, as q1. oh correct yes and for d1 you can see that q1 and q2 yes. this is a nor right yes yes mm, yes sir. yes sir. so it will be zero yeah. d1 zero d2 one the two is one right so if d1 is it is like for deep flip it is copied right so q1 next will be zero and q2 next will be one um, from, from dq flip-flop table yeah dq flip-flop like it's copied whatever the next clock cycle it will be copied right if it, d1 is zero so it will be copied right so q1 next will be zero whatever the d1 it will be copied right zero 
and what we did to it will be copied. Copy it was when clock was high. Yeah, so it will like after one clock plus, like uh, clock is like kind of there. So after one clock plus, it will be copied, right? Okay. Hmm. When clock is high, it will be copied. Yeah, when clock is. We need to consider high. only high clock as high only. No, no. A deep flip clock. Clock is like kind of like that. So when it is zero to one, so it is like toggling between zero and one, zero and one, kind of that. This is clock, kind of this. Zero, yeah, and zero and one. So after one clock pulse, so you can see that after one clock pulse, it will be again zero to one, right? Correct. So that time it will be copied, right? Correct. Yeah. Now zero and one. What will be the D one? For zero one, D one will be uh, same zero. Zero. And what will be the D two? Zero. It will be the zero. And it will be copied, right? What about the zero zero? Why d two will be zero because q one is zero. Yeah, q one is zero. Two is equal to q one. Yeah. Okay. Why will it be? Uh, okay. Wait. 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 Q one underscore n. Uh, I mean q one next. So after giving d one and d two inputs, what will be the after like q one next and q two next? After giving d one and d two inputs. Ah. Uh -huh. So what will be the result? Because that clock is like a toggle, zero and zero on, and this is like given input, right? Hmm. Clock is i d one is zero, so it will be zero. You can see that for d one, q one and q two, q one and q two, so it will be uh, like our operation will be one, and they are not, so it will be zero. And d two is q one, d two is q one, so it will be q one, so zero. So it will be zero zero. It will be because it's copied, right? For d yes, yes yes. Okay okay. D one, D two will go ahead with Q one next. Q2. Now, so it will become D one will become one. D one will be one. D one will be one. D two is equal to Q one, so it will be zero. Zero, and it and will be copied. It. It will be zero zero. It will be one zero. Whatever. One one zero. Sorry, sorry. Uh, one zero. Yeah. Yeah. So and after that again one zero. The same repeat. No, one zero is copying and cycle. Yeah, so it, you can see that one zero, then zero one, and after the zero one zero zero, and after the zero zero one zero. One zero zero one zero zero one zero. Okay. Huh? So, one zero zero. Which option is the correct? Second one. B. Okay. Okay. It's 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 quite straightforward then. Yeah, it's quite like uh, it's kind of solving question. Mm -hmm. uh, understanding the flip flop and. Or it will be trigger kind of that. Everyone question like got this question. Nah, four people only, but okay. Initially, like more. Or... <laughs> I do, I do. I mean, in CSD there are many students, but why? I I think there are fifty students there in the CSD. Fifty. Ah, uh, fifty kind of that. Yeah, fifty or four fifty. Yes. Then go to next. Yeah, let's do the next one. Okay. Cypress one with two two plus. So a circuit is formed with the uh, two D flip flop with the synchronous clock generated by D one and D two with outputs Q one and Q two respectively. For the next state logic is given by D one equal to Q one bar and D two equal to Q one bar. D one equal to Q one bar and D two equal to Q one. Which of the following output is absent in the steady state? So, which of the following output is absent? Right. So, mm -hmm. let's draw the circuit first, then it will be good. So, there are two flip flop. So, this is D one inputs, and this is this D one in, and this is D two flip flop, and D one equal to Q one bar. So, this is Q. And this is Q one bar, right? And this is clock. Clock, you can see that. And Why we do Q and Q one? Sorry, sorry. This is Q one and uh, this is Q one bar. This is Q two, and this is Q two bar. Right. Now, uh, D one equal to Q one bar. So D one equal to Q one bar. So D one equal to Q one bar. So you can see that. And D two equal to Q one, so this is D two. D two equal to Q one, 
and d1 equal to q1 bar. Now, which of the following output is absent in the steady state? So you have to this is clock. <laughs> So you have to find the which of the following state will be absent, right? So let's find then how to do so that. We need to give the given inputs and see which is yes. possible. Yeah. So let's in, initial step and inputs and next step. Initial step. Initial state is Q1, Q2, input is D1, D2, and next state is Q1 next, Q2 next, right? Q2 next. Okay. So, will we try out all yeah. missions? Yeah. So, first, let's. Uh, zero, zero. Yeah. So, Q1, Q2, 0, 0, D1. No, no, which of the output is not possible? Yeah, which of the output is not possible? Output will be in next state. Hmm. Okay, so. Hmm, but unless so we try all the four combinations, we won't know. Yeah, no? let, let first start with 0, 0. Hmm, let's start with 0, 0. What is coming, then after that, we'll see. So we have 1, 0. 0. D1 is? Q1 bar, 1. Uh, D1 is? Q1 bar and D2 is Q oh Q1. Q1 right. mm -hmm. So D1 is Q1 bar. So what will be the D1? 1 0. Uh, 1. And what will be the D2? 0. 0. It will be copied right. 1 0 right. Yep. Then what will be the D1? 0. 0. And D2? 1. 1. So zero. It will be copied. Let the zero one. Zero one. Afnan has raised a hand. Yeah, let's yeah Afnan, what is your doubt? One zero again. Yes, sir. Uh, I was just asking if uh, the output is copied irrespective of the state of the clock. Mm. Because we are always always copying it. Is it the case for I mean like is it the case always or or for deep flop it is copied? Okay. I mean, the clock has no say on it, is it? Huh? Clock has? I mean, like, clock doesn't matter in that case, is what? A clock is uh, like, the clock is like, it's, it's this, like, simultaneously mm -hmm. do like zero one zero one kind of that, right? Right, right. So, uh, it's kind of like that. Clock is like running continuously, right? Mm -hmm. So, it will be like, when zero to one, it will be copied. Okay, okay. Okay. So All right. When zero one, what will be the D one is? For zero one, for zero okay. one, for zero one, uh, D one is one. Yes. D two is zero. Zero. It will be one zero. One zero. So it will uh, only two one uh, flipping. Yeah. So, so only two states is possible. One zero and zero one, right? Hmm. So uh, we have asked the uh, absent state, so it will be. Got it, like everyone. Okay. Uh, Acha, what if we start with one one also? Let us check for one. I'll, I'll, yeah, let's do one one. Let's see where it ends up. Okay. One one will take us to zero one. Hmm. One one will take to zero one and then zero one one zero. Zero one, then. 0 1 it will be 1 0 right 1 0 1 0 it will be 1 0 and it will keep swapping it keep swapping okay i think no, why why we are like uh, we wrote 1 1 then 0 1 and 1 0 so it's like changing one out uh, bit at a time no no see memlezi d1 is q1 bar okay correct so q1 is 1 so d1 becomes 0 Mm -hmm. D, D2 is Q1. So Q1 is 1. So D2 is that 1. Time, no, earlier we had done 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. Hmm. Why didn't we add up 
a fourth one one input because uh, the initial states that we are taking is going to be the next state na in the first uh -huh. line the I next state is zero I mean, one so we'll go ahead d1 d2 will become okay uh, no, no. Uh, ha. D one, D two will become Q Q one next, Q two next. So Q one next, Q two next are basically Q one, Q two in the next step, right? It's being copied here. Correct. Thank you. So that is what we are taking. So even though we are starting with one one and zero zero, the stable states are only going to be zero one one zero. So zero zero one one we will uh, never get. Correct, sir. Ah, yeah. Correct. We will never get. Okay. So both of these options will be there. Yeah, both of the like zero zero and one one will be the absent. Okay. Okay. Now let's see. So consider the. This is the previous year question. You can. Like, yeah, this type of question will work. So consider the circuit diagram as shown below. Assuming it was initially clear to zero. So state the output y for the next four clock pulse. So both are zero zero. First one is JK flip wave and second one is DC. So what will be the next four clock pulse? Like what will be the next four clock pulse for the Y, right? So how to solve this type of question? Let's see. What is the meaning of initially clear to zero? Like both are set to zero, zero, zero. Both are okay. Both are zero, zero, like initially. Right. Okay, let's solve this question. So first we have to write. Initial state, right? Initial state, then inputs. Inputs, so let for input it will be the next state. So, initial state, this is Q1, then this is Q2, and inputs it will be. J1, K1, and D because D there, and for it will be Q1 next and Q2 next. Basically, Q2 next will be this Y, right? So we have asked only Y. So this will be Y, right? So we have to only focus on the Q2 next, right? So Wait, both, where's Q2, sir? The Q2 next. This is the Q2. I'm okay, like we are assuming this is Y because we are assuming Q2 also, right? Yeah, yeah. You can just uh, this is Y, right? So yeah. initially both are zero, zero, right? Assuming right. it was initially clear to okay, zero, zero, yes. And K1 is given equal to one. K1 is given equal to one, right? K1 is one. Now what is J1? J1 is equal to Q1 bar. J J J1 is Q1 bar, huh? Yeah. So what will be the value of J1 here? 1. 1. Yeah. And uh, Q1 is always 1, right? One. And D1 is always 1. Yeah, always 1. You can see that always 1. How, one is, how we can see always 1? In the figure, you can see, na? Only yeah, 1 is I mean, Currently, I mean, it is given 1. Yeah, so one. K1 equal 1 is printed by, OK. If it is not, the value is not printed, then it will keep changing. No, no, you can see that, that uh, K1 is we have given inputs on. Hmm. But he's mind. asking if uh, the box was empty. So, it, so it, this, is initial empty. this is initial input only, no? Yeah, initial not. It's always one because, because you can see that it's, we have given inputs as a one. Okay. If box that one input box was not there, then we shouldn't assume that it will be... Well, then it will be something kind of that Q1 bar or Q2 bar or something kind some, of component. some okay some uh, input will be a connection will be given to K1 also yeah some connection will be okay. given okay now and D1 is D what about the D left D is Q1 yeah D1 is equal to Q1 so what will be that D D1 is, D1 is zero D1 is zero right <laughs> zero now, what will be the Q1 next? J1 is 1 and Q1 is 1. So let's see that truth table. So you can see that. So when 0, 0, so when J and K both are 0, J and K are both 0, it's like memory. What about the last Q0 value? What about the Q last Q? You can see mm -hmm. that. When J is 0, 
and k is zero so you can it's like reset state so it will be zero when j is uh, one and j mm, k is zero it will be set state and one one is what the it will be what about the uh, like reverse yeah reverse so it will be a toggle yeah yeah toggle state what about the previous state it will be that toggle so this is the you have to remember only that So when zero zero, so zero zero, it will be it will be memory hold. Whatever the last value. When zero one, it will be the art will be zero. It like reset okay. state and one zero means set. Then one one, one it will be uh, reverse. Yeah, reverse. Okay, let's okay. do it. So J and K is one, right? Hmm. One one will it be like. Uh, it will uh, reverse. So Q1, Q1 will reverse. become one. Yeah. And, and you Q is also zero, right? So it will be this copied. So it will be zero, right? This copied. It will be zero. Okay. D will be copied. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it will be zero. Then one zero. See Q1. Q1 is zero. J1 is zero. So Q1 hmm. next will be one from the table. Correct. And uh, Q1, Q1, no, no, Q1 uh, next will become uh, D here. See, the thing is that you can see that K1 is given always like one, right? K1, K1 is, is one. So we can blindly copy one, 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 one for all the rows. All, all the. Now J1 is given Q1 bar. What about the Q1 bar? Yes. Yeah, so Q1 now, was zero initially. Yeah. So J1 will be one, right? J1 will be one. And D D is Q1. So D Q1 is zero. So Q, D will be zero. Yes. Now when J1, suppose there is a flip flop J and K. Mm -hmm. J K both are one one. What will be Correct. the output? That is toggling. Toggling. If it is zero, then it will be one. So you can see that zero is there. It will be toggling will be one, right? Okay, okay. If there is a one deep flip flop and in input is zero, what will be the output? It will be copied. It will be zero. Hmm. So that's why zero. Okay. okay. Now one zero. Okay, the second box is a deep flip flop. Deep flip flop only copies. Yeah, correct. So that is why I'm taking the uh, Q1, whatever I'm getting, that will be pasted to Q2 next. Yes, correct. Right. Yes. Now, okay. one zero. Next it is one zero. So, so when one zero, when zero is coming from Q one next, Q two next. Yeah, uh -huh. one, yeah, correct. So for one zero, it was what? Uh, it will J one becomes zero. J one becomes one. But zero, no, it is Q one bar. J one is Q one bar. So it will be zero. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Q1 remain Q1 one. one bar, one zero. Zero, yeah, and it's one. And D mm -hmm. will be one. D will be Q11. One, one. And zero one, zero one means zero, right? What? Zero one means uh, no, zero what zero one? From the JK uh, uh, truth table, now. Yeah. So this Haan, is zero. Zero. zero one is zero. If it is zero and this is one, so what will be the output? This is zero one. What will be the output? Zero. Zero. Is that right? It will be zero. Yeah. What it will be zero? You can see that zero, uh, zero one, it will zero be zero one will be zero. Okay, zero okay. one is giving zero. Zero, and after that, it will be it is Q2, so it is zero, I think. No, ah, it will be D1. I oh, said, Sorry, sorry, uh, D, yes, D is copied. So now zero one will be copied in the initial state. Yeah, yeah. now zero, zero one. one, so it will be one 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 one. It will be here. K is, con uh, K is constant, K is constant given. No? Hmm. One one. Now one one is going to give me toggle okay. state. D, D will be D will be what? The Q one zero. Yeah. Now zero one will again become one in the Q one next. This will be one. And what is Q two? Zero. Why? Copy it. zero, right? But it copy. is copied. Yeah. Now then it is okay. one zero. Wait 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 wait. One uh, here one one confusion. 
J K we are getting one one. Okay, from the given whatever they have. A D how did D become zero? D is Q one right? So D is Q one. So it is zero. D is okay. Q one is getting fed into D and it is a wo uh, D flip flop. So copy paste. Yeah. Okay. So zero is coming. Now Q one next is one. Why was it? Because J K is at a uh, one one. So the input will be flipped. Is it? Hmm. Answer is zero. Okay. For one zero, hmm. it will be zero. Just saying zero one. One zero one zero one. So we have asked uh, four clock pulse, so it will be we have asked only y, right? So it will be zero <coughs> one zero one. So this will be the answer. Wait, wait, uh, what, what, what? Consider answer that there is y. We need to what, give what four was? values of y. Yeah, four values of y. We have asked four clock pulse, right? Consider circuit, assuming it was initially state. Uh, Okay, and the the question was the four states of y, is it? Yeah, four states of y. Like this is q two. Whatever the we have bracket, I'm giving q two. Uh, so zero one zero. It's not mentioned here. That's why I was thinking. Yes, yeah, so zero, zero one. one. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, so everyone got this question? Yes. Right. I and the, for JK flip, it's like simple. Like uh, for zero one, it will be like memory. Whole state out of the Q zero and zero one it will be uh, zero like what it's this set and for one zero one and for one one it will be toggle. Okay. Yeah. Now this question. Consider the circuit. So consisting of three flip flops, three flip flops and one jorget as shown below. The initial states are Q1 equal to 0, Q2 equal to 0, and Q3 equal to 0. What is the numbers of possible uh, states for the circuit? So you have to say what are the possible states for the circuit. So yeah. in this case also you have to write initial state. Yeah. Then inputs. Yeah. Then next states. Which are Huh, next day. Right. Initial state is the Q1, Q2, Q3, right? Q1, Q2, Q3. And inputs will be D1, D1, D2, D3. And this will be Q1 next. Q2 next. Q2 next. Q3 next. Right. So Start with zero zero zero. Zero zero zero. Now what is the D1 value? D1 is, D1 is Q3. Clock. Yeah. D1, D1 is Q3. And Q3. D2 is? D2 is Q1. D2 is Q1. And D3, D3 is uh, Q1. 1s or Q2. Two. And 1s or Q2. And Q2 plus 1. But this is 1. So this is 0. But what am I saying? Yeah. What about the Q2? Depends. Q2 zero one. Yeah. So D one will be Q three. It will be zero, right? Okay. Two zero one. Two zero one will be what? Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll see that. No worries. Abhi ke liye, let's do one zero Q two. Okay. Uh, D one is Q three. Okay. okay. Now let's for D one is Q three. So Q three is zero. So it will be zero, right? Zero. D two is Q one. So zero. Now D two is Q one. It will be zero. Hmm. Now it's zero or one. That is uh, one. Zero or one. It will be one, right? So it will be one. one. And for the Q next, it will be copied, right? Whatever the it will be zero, zero, one. D three will be Q two bar. Q two. Yeah, bar. you can. Yeah, you can. Uh, D three will be Q two bar. You can. Ask. It is right that Q two bar only. Yes, John yeah. will confuse. Yeah. Okay. And now, next step is next step is zero zero one zero zero one. So what will be the D one? Uh, so, one so one is zero and D one is zero. So we copy it two two zero D two zero. We copy it and Q three is zero and D three is one. So we copy D one values in the Q one next. 
a d1 value to q3 q3 uh, yeah i mean we are uh, copying d1 values into the next values correct no no are bimle ji we never copy the d1 ke values in the next we always take the next state of the previous line into the next line yes yeah, so here q1, q1 is states. q1 n goes to q1 in the next line q2 n goes to q2 in the next line q3 no, n no, not like that. i mean i'm trying to see first row only how q1 next q2 next and q3 next are coming so see, suppose okay so, so this is a d flip flop right correct So if it is putting zero, what will be the output? Zero. Zero. That's why zero and zero. Q one next is zero. Mm. Correct. E two is zero, so that's why zero. And D three is one, so it will be one. Mm. Yes. So that is why I mean we are copying from. I mean taking using D one values, we are writing Q one next values. Mm. Yeah. Because it is a D flip flop. It will just forward yes, the same. D, yeah. Input and now that. That those Q one next values will be copied into the second row. Yeah. Second state, yeah, because that's a uh, current state now. Yeah. Now initial state is zero zero one. What will be the D one value? Q three. That is one. 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 D two is Q one. So zero. Okay. So one. One zero one. One zero. D three is uh, Q two bar. Q two bar. Huh. So one. One. So it is. It's a D flip flop. Take one zero one. Zero one. Write it in the next line again. One zero one. Okay, now D one is Q three one. One one. Second one also one. D two is Q one. D two is one. Hmm. Mm. Now it will be one. One. It will be one one one. One. Take it to the next line. One one one. Okay. What is the question? D one is one. D one is one. D two is one. It is one. D three is one. Zero. 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 One one zero. Take to the next line. One one zero again. What will be that? Q three is a zero. Zero. One. One. Ah, uh, zero. Zero. So zero one, one zero. zero. Again. Okay. Next line. Zero one zero right? Zero one zero yeah. What will be that? Uh, D one is Q three zero zero um Q two bar ah uh, zero zero. So oh, it repeat zero zero one zero 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 one. So oh, oh no 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 wait 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 wait. Okay uh, zero 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 not zero zero one. It's a yeah, copy yeah. and it will go to the next line with zero 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 and it will repeat. Yeah, so you can say uh, what is the numbers of three, uh, three, four, five, six, six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it will be six. Now, how to how to okay? When uh, one particular uh, next value is repeating, then we should stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. Q one, so Q two, Q three, and this. Two, two, or, three, or this day, that could be maximum eight or less. Yeah, after that you can see if you write zero zero zero, hmm. so you can say after that it will be repeated, right? Hmm. So basically, what I am saying is so because there are three values. Q1, Q2, Q3. Yeah. So maximum we should go up to eight to yeah, check. Yeah, maximum we should go. Soon you can get is eight. The answer will always be less than eight. Uh, no, that is what I mean. I was uh -huh. thinking how many steps to do. So if there are, it if it's an MCQ, they have ten, eleven, eliminate. Simple. One, okay. two, three, four, five, six. Only two states have not come. So uh, this type of question only I uh, we can ask numerical NAT, not MCQ because. You <laughs> <laughs> can eliminate easily, but here it will be like uh, possible. Like if you blindly, if you if you give the answer, Suppose it will. Suppose you be like, want to ask uh, MCQ type of this. What will you ask? I will ask like what about the uh, uh, that. Uh, no, no. This NAT we understood, but what kind of MCQ you can ask from this? What are the states not possible? Ah, uh, that like kind of that. What about the um, uh, like. Uh, Next four clock pulse. What will be the output? Kind of that. Then this kind of that. Output. Then this kind of that. What will be the? No, no. I am talking about that particular diagram only. Yeah, Specific. that particular. You can ask that. What are the possible? Like what are the steps which cannot possible? You can see that uh, one one is one 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 is not possible, right? No, it's coming. No. One, no one 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 is coming. 
okay it's not coming then 011 is not coming okay 011 is not coming and zero correct yeah and so we can ask like this question we can 100 is not this coming. question we can ask what about the following out for the option in the study state correct correct uh acha sir one one thing you just mentioned uh, what about the next clock pulse what will be the output what what's that it will be uh, one zero zero one right if you give zero 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 so we can it will be zero zero one so uh, what do you mean by next clock pulse is the next state yeah after next one execution right yeah yeah correct okay okay okay, okay. okay. Uh, so sir for a n a t Uh, if we ask how many states are there, so we skip the last one here, right? Because it's repeating the initial state that we. No, no. Like, what are the numbers of possible states for the circuit? So we have asked what are the possible circuits. Not we have not asking that uh, after like zero zero zero. What are the possible? Not, we have asked whole circuit. What are the possible states? Okay, so if I want to count, then I I should count Q Q three n, right? Yeah, yeah, you can count. Okay. Yes. Yeah. No, no. So we are counting only the column of either initial state or next state. That is what you are saying. Or yeah, you can you can add that uh, we have to only count the whatever the next state. So you can okay. see that one, two, three, four, five, and six states. After if you give the zero zero. Zero. If you give that zero zero zero, it will be repeating, right? It will give zero zero one, right? Correct. So that's why these are repeating. So like we need question, right? So it will be like one, two, three, four, five. Yes. Yeah, so either either in the initial state or uh, column, I mean, yes. that group of column or next state group of column. I mean, basically we need to see the number of rows only. Yeah, yeah. So it will be always better to next state. Okay. so yeah so i think this is the end so like uh, you can accept expect this type of question will be asked in the quiz too solvable within 1 hour yes it will be solvable within 1 hour okay because uh, only like 10 question will be there mm -hmm. k maps at least i'm expecting right k question will be there uh, like five question true false so it will be like Two three minutes because it will it is like kind of okay. A... So, okay. So questions you came with uh, those are over. So can we go through EGS of seven and eight peak numbers? Okay. So let's. Can you can you share this one with us? Uh, uh, the one you just uh, used today okay let me download then why maybe yeah i'll upload upload to the drive and i'll share okay okay let me upload to the drive and share
So are you able to access it? Let me check. Yes, sir. Uh, let me check. Yes, the diagrams and everything are visible. Okay. Okay. Can you? Uh, I mean, I joined a little bit late. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, uh, where to focus on? I mean, it looks like PAGA for week five K maps. First page is about that only in that these notes. No, that is what I'm seeing. That uh... five questions will be basis true false. Mm -hmm. Ten questions will be MCQ, MSQ, and AT types from mm -hmm. week five and week seven and eight mostly. Few could be from multiplexers concept also. Okay. Five tweets or one page. PAQ. Okay. So week week seven PA we can go through. Week seven PA and G. Okay, mm -hmm. so question okay. two and three. I think we have uh, question two and question three. Uh, okay, let me share my screen. Question two and question three. I'll make this time sharing. It's different, so yeah. Question number two. Question number two will not ask because this is a self flip flop, so we will not ask. Don't worry. But is it in which eight? Uh, no, it's like it will yeah. be like not not in the uh, like syllabus. RS flip flop is not in the syllabus. I think we have okay. I've told in the. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. You had told previously also, but. And week three, I think I have solved that uh, session, right? So you can just watch the recording. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. In flip flops only, uh, D flip flop and JK flip flop. Yeah, D flip flop and JK flip flop. So only two things are there. Okay. So, and for uh, memory, but like uh, I think you have to remember only that uh, excitation table and. That yeah, that um, what is it called? The expression table. finding. There were two tables. Yeah. And uh, uh, how important is the master slave? Yeah, all oh, that uh, only like master slave, whatever the you have given excitation table and the flip flop, only mm. the master slave, right? Okay, yeah, um, only about the master slave. Table. Yeah, so and uh, the latches are important. Latches, yeah. uh, that's uh, see the concept. Maybe mm. one and two will be like true false question, maybe there. So okay. just like how it's working and like what is the like just uh, see the character like what truth level at least mm -hmm. that will be good okay okay so mostly about flip-flops then yeah mostly about the flip-flop and, and solve all the designing best concept like in the quizzes like maximum will be the question will be the best on the designing like numbers of states like what will be the next four possible like whatever we have solved now this mm. type of question will be asked in the quiz Okay, okay. And uh, how about those uh, questions like how many NAND gates are required to do this equation? That yeah, that, uh, uh, maybe one or two questions will be there like that. Uh, we, have asked, we have solved now one came up question. Hmm. That type of question will be there like simple question will be there. If you know that, uh, uh, that NAND that NAND get and the NOR get, then you can easily solve. No, like a uh, KMAX is uh, pretty much. Hand, no, I mean, I can handle it. K maps, 
but after finding the k maps the expression that we have got will there be further questions on like how many nand gates are required to find this expression okay. is that maybe oh, like uh, how many nor gate like simple expression will be there after finding the k map then we can hmm. ask how many nor or nand gate and maybe sub question will be there like if you want to implement that two cross mul one mul then how many mul kind of okay, okay. okay. Alright. Uh, sir, one question. Yeah. Uh, there are two ways to give the input uh, when we uh, minimize the circuit, uh, and uh, when it asks for uh, how many NAND gates or NOR gates required. So when the input is A bar, so I have to represent it with one uh, NAND gate or NOR gate, right? Yes. So in the question, if it is uh, given that complements are available, and mm -hmm. you can just directly use. And if okay. in the question uh, does not mention that com only like like mention does not anything right then you have to implement oh. labor rules. Oh, okay. Okay. Sir. Thank you. Can we quickly see week five? Uh, P A question four. Okay. Let's see. And see how actually it will happen through okay. certain, through a diagram. Okay, uh, which question four? Yes, yeah, four question of propagation delay. Okay, so let me share. So, a thirty two repeal carry adders is realized using 32 identical full adders the propagation delay for the sum of each full adder is 20 nanosecond and that for every uh, for the carry is 10 nanoseconds so what will be the worst case for the delay for the 32 bit uh, adder right so so mm. you can see that uh, uh, for 31 it will be like required carry delay right so for 31 that's why you are multiplying 31 into tens and for the sum part we record all one more uh, that uh, delay 20 look let's see the question that but sir uh, the problem with this question is in every single adder that we are going for every single bit we are doing the addition also right so shouldn't 10 nanosecond be required to do the sum up without doing the sum how will we get the carry uh, okay, so for like next input only carry is, carry is required, right? So, so I mean, no, but if we do not do some, how will we get carry? So it will be happening in series or in it's parallel? It's parallel. So if if it is in parallel, so until less the zero least significant bits are added, like S zero happens, and then C one will be coming from S0, correct? Uh, yes, I think there is one discourse process there. So let's see that discourse process, I think. OK. Uh, so we can understand about that. So I think. OK. So we can go through that. You can go through that then i think maybe it will be clear for you if you do not understand then maybe you can ask in the discourse or maybe chat go to this discourse first and after that if you have any problem then you can ask okay 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 then other than then any doubt if you require one more session then if you have some more doubt then we can conduct also like uh, in the Saturday evening or something like that, or maybe tomorrow evening also. If you have more doubt, sure, we'll uh, inform you. Yeah. Okay, let's do it tonight. Then maybe we can tell you. We can do tomorrow. So, good night, everyone. So all the best for the quizzes. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the session. Thank you, sir.